hello everyone. This speech would be in English. I hope you are still alive and energized. My name is Antonina, and I will talk today about the blockchain. So, blockchain, again that word, already been a buzzword for a few years, right? But don't worry, I will not uh, try to make you a evangelist of this technology now, and will not encourage you to run fast and invest into cryptocurrencies or uh, launch your own ICO. Uh, the thing I want you to keep in your mind after this talk today is that blockchain, you know, it is not a buzzword, it is a technology. But pretty obvious, yeah, blockchain is a technology. But please don't laugh, not yet, is a technology that is already changing the usual things we do in our everyday life. Blockchain brings the real life into the digital world. And what is even more important, it brings digital world into our real life. But you can't, you may say, can't be. Me and technology, nah. I've got nothing to do with all those geek stuff talked about in a very narrow scientific or software developing communities. Me and blockchain, I have nothing to do with that. But are you sure? You know, that reminds me of those people thinking the same way about the big data before Trump wins the elections. Believe me, blockchain is closer to us than you may think. And you can tremendously change the experience of the usual things you do perform every day. And you can benefit from this technology. But before we will go through a few practical cases, how blockchain already changes the usual things that we do. So I would like to have a very high level I promise you a very, very high level overview of what blockchain technology is on Earth, to have every one of us being on the same page. So, blockchain is a technology. It is a distributed database for storing records about the assets and transactions. Each block stores the information and the unique hash of the previous block. The information is stored in blocks that form chains, so the block and the chain, blockchain. The system operates according to the predefined rules, smart contracts that execute transactions, they initiate actions in the system under the predefined conditions met. To make a record in the system, you have some specific members of the network to approve this transaction. This is the concept of consensus. While you have agreed upon the transaction, it can never be changed. You can record another transaction to change the state of this item, but you can't hide the original one. So this is the concept of transparency. Everyone in the network sees all the history of all the transactions. So what does that mean? That means that if you want to change some record in some specific block, you will have to rewrite all the blocks in the sequence, in all the databases of all the members of the environment and make those specific members of the network to re-approve these transactions. So this is giving the fraud resistance of the network a definitely new meaning. So this is a blockchain. The blocks in chains, literally, with the shared database, with the mutual consensus for conducting the transactions, that are executed by smart algorithms. This is it. Nothing special. I hope this is not so buzzy already and vague as it was before. So, great. And now, what can we do with blockchain technology? How can you benefit from it? What can blockchain bring to us? So the trust, transparency, and managing the uncertainty was the main driver of developing the social relationships of human beings. And, and blockchain, having all that as the fundamental of the technology, can help develop social institutions and enable social interactions. So now let's go through a few practical cases, what we have with blockchain now, in our life. Think of a car, 
car insurance and managing the uncertainty between the members of the market and adding extra visibility into their transactions between each of the other. Let's just think of John. John applies for the insurance in some specific insurance company. But we know John. John is a tricky guy. He had 10 claims with his old Buick 1983 in different states of the country for the last five months. But the insurance agent meets John for the first time and eagerly sets up an agreement. Whoops! And we already can think of what will happen next. Another crash. Blockchain technology can decrease the fraud of the crash for cash accidents and the multiple claims processing. Thanks to the immutability of the records and the mutual environment for storing the records about the transactions between the members of the environment. Think of yourself the last time you had to process the insurance claim. Just think of all that fuss, all that extra paperwork, extra emotions, or extra actions you had to deal with. But if all the parties are members of the blockchain-based environment, the whole bunch of problems just disappear. The smart algorithms will automatically conduct con uh, transactions under specific conditions met. So what that means? The moment you provide all the required documents and the adjuster approves them, the specific amount will be automatically withdrawn from the account of the insurer and granted to yours. And this is as simple as that. No extra calling to the call center, no fights with the bank, where is my money that was told to be and promised to be at my account two weeks ago, still not there, and whom to blame, whom to call, what to do and where to go. As simple as that, you have a real-time and transparent information about the status of your claim and the documented you docu documents that you have provided, and also the transactions that were executed by all of the parties of the process. So let's think of the other example when you can make blockchain. So, for example, when you would be running to buy an engagement ring, or when you would be planning the expenses for going to Europe to see the Grand Prix races. Blockchain perfectly meets building the systems of the peer-to-peer -peer money transfer and loans management systems. Imagine of creating the transparent marketplace for all those people willing to apply for a small amount loan and all those investors, individual investors, that would like to place their free capital at the market to earn some extra revenue based on the blockchain and the smart contracts. This is great, right? So just think of all those people and you, that you can have the direct and easy access to the extra thousand you urgently, very urgently need right now from a guy from the opposite part, opposite part of the world that you have never met before. And that guy would be sure that at the maturity day of the loan, the amount that he landed you and the accrued interest would be automatically withdrawn from your account and granted to his. Again, as simple as that. So just think of the huge market of the small businesses and the individuals and entrepreneurs who gain access to a free resources, free capital that they were not able to qualify for in classical financial institutions like banks. And think of all those investors, individual investors, all around the world that would be able to extract extra value from even very small amounts of their capital for a very short period of time. So this is great, right? But let's step aside from such a complicated thing like financial markets, financial institutions and financial instruments and think what can blockchain bring to our personal life, to our personal pains and needs. So let's think about the solution, blockchain-based solution, for registering production of milk. Blockchain and milk. Seriously? <laughs> what for, you may think? But wait a minute. Just think of a child who appeared to come up to this world a bit too early. Or think of all those people suffering a severe allergy or some specific food intolerance. 
It is literally vital to provide a secure, transparent and appropriate nutrition source for all of them, not to cause any harm or to put their health under the extra risk. But how to be really sure in the safety of the product? How to be really, you know, not only believing what is written on the label? How to be able to track and validate the origin of the product content? Blockchain may help you here. Blockchain may help you feel more safe and confident by providing the transparent information about the origination of the resources that the baby food is produced from. Blockchain system can provide you the transparent information about the, you know, the whole manufacturing process of milk production, about the state of the livestock health, about the infections, you know, and all those diseases happened in some specific locations, so that one would be able to track which of the consignment of the product is of inappropriate quality and has to be removed from the shelves of the stores. So just what is even more important, no one would be able to hide or deceive this, all these facts thanks to the immutability of the records in the blockchain environment. So having that transparent information about all these facts can be a life-changing experience for all these people mentioned in this case before. Let's take another pretty painful and close to us case. So, Millions of people struggle to make a very hard decision about the vaccination. And me as a parent, the main obstacle for me when I was taken before I was taking this decision was, you know, the uncertainty about the transportation and storing conditions of the item. If they are improper, it can absolutely eliminate and what is even worse, change the active characteristics of the item. And you can never be sure whether the product, the item, the specific specimen was produced, stored, you know, transported, meeting all the standard requirements, the temperature conditions that are required for this item. But the blockchain-based global system may help lower the uncertainty about all these facts and help make this decision more comfortable and responsible. So this is it, blockchain. Now we see that this technology, you know, it serves the industries of the very different kind, from the pharmacy to healthcare, from financial services to retail. And there are two types of people, you know, there are people who think that blockchain is a silver bullet, you know. It is a technology, a disruptive factor that will change the landscape of the world's economy. And there are those who consider it to rapidly evolve into a commodity technology. The way what happened with lasers, you know. So already a few dozens of years ago when it was invented, the whole world was dreaming of the future when we are cutting the grass with the laser trimmers, doing the hairdo with the laser blasters, you know, and preparing the barbecue on the laser pans. But what we do have now for the laser, that was the future, and what we do for our life, right? The laser pointer, even though the technology is had a tremendous impact on everything, I mean, the different, different and very different industries from healthcare with the surgery applications to building the spaceships and machinery. But still, for us, in our everyday life, this is a commodity technology. Will blockchain have the same future? Don't have the definite answer for that now. No. It is still a young technology, still waiting for the new applications to evolve. But what is definite now? Blockchain is already here. So let's stay informed. Let's stay open-minded. Let's stay inspired to constantly learn something new. And you know, maybe that would be us who will come up with a new, obvious, but not less disruptive business case that will be a changing point for the life cycles, you know, and the life habits of the human beings and the world's economy. So it is all in our hands. Veliko hobajajte. Ďakujem.